Hello gang, I'd say good afternoon, but you may be watching this at any time during the day, so I'll just say good bleep to you. Well, that may be, okay, never mind, bad idea. Alright, anyways, we're going to get started with today's video. You are going to be seeing another Chromecast video, like I promised many of these. Hopefully you enjoyed the other ones. Today you're going to be able to send a signal from your Kindle Fire to your amazing piece of technology that is the Chromecast. So, we're going to get started today pretty fast. All you need is a Chromecast and a Kindle Fire. I have not tested this on the first generation Kindle Fire, which I do own. I have only tested it on the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. So, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, you'll have to do a few things first, obviously, but we will get to that pretty soon. Okay, obviously, first you're going to need your Kindle Fire loaded up with the Chromecast app. As you can see, I have it on here. Uh, there's a simple way to get it. You're just going to download the APK, or there's even an easier way, which I suggest doing, is downloading the One Mobile Market. Uh, without rooting, this is possible. All you have to do is you can grab this link for this file on um, on my description. It'll be in there. And once you grab that link, you can place it on your Kindle Fire. You're going to have to go to Settings. And to get this doing going anyways, you have to go to Settings and select under, I believe it's under Security. And then you're going to allow, oh wait, where'd it go? I always lose this thing. It might be under Applications. Oh, there we go. Okay, you're going to click Applications under Settings and select, wait one second. Well, that's weird. Okay, I found it. You're going to go to Device under Settings and select Allow Installation of Applications from Unknown Sources and click On. So once you click that, you will down the, uh, grab the file that's in the link of my description and go ahead and open up the One Mobile Market. Once it's opened up, uh, we'll ignore this and you will go ahead and click the search button up here and type in uh, Chrome Cast. There we go. And it should be right there. It should look like a little TV with a Chrome symbol in it. And you're going to click the uh, green download button. That won't show up now because, of course, it's already downloaded. And you will also need to install the YouTube app to cast YouTube videos. So you'll type in YouTube right there. And the YouTube one is obvious which one you need. And make sure to get the right one. It's the one that looks like the official logo right there. And then you will download that by pressing the green arrow. And then over here, we'll type in... Uh, Google Play Videos, or Google Play, we'll search that, and you'll want to put the Google Play Music on there as well, because that works, and Google Play Movies and TV, those both work with casting to the Chromecast. I've not tried Pandora, but I've heard some people say that works as well. So, uh, go ahead and install all those onto your Kindle device by clicking, pressing the yellow and the uh, green arrow, and now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and test it out. Make sure your TV is on, showing the Chromecast like I did earlier. And now you're going to press the big Chromecast logo button. If it's not showing up on your um, carousel, you will go over to your apps and by title or by recent and select the Chromecast app there. So anyways, once you press on it, it will open up saying Chromecast, uh, finding Chromecasts on your wireless networks. And now it's syncing, looking for it. And there it is. Mine's called Upstairs, and it says Ready to Cast. You will just press on it once, and it's going to say Connecting to Upstairs, which it's connecting with my TV right now, which is awesome. And there, it's all connected. So now, you can go to your regular screen, and you can go and open YouTube, or Netflix, or Google Play Videos, and or the music, and test it out. So we'll test one out. Let's go to YouTube first. And this is a little weird, okay? I have found that while you're on the YouTube app, it won't let you just press the Chromecast button and then play a video. You'll have to find the video you want. Let's say we want to watch my review of the Samsung Chromebook unboxing. And you'll have to flip it into landscape mode. And then you'll have to press the Chromecast button up there. That's the only way to do it. Otherwise, it will just glitch and mess up. So it wasn't meant to do this anyways, but you know, now... There you go. So it says connecting. In one second, I'll show the TV, and we can look at see how it's working. All right, sorry for the blurriness. You're going to, once you do that, you click playing on upstairs, and it will start playing the video, and there it is. It's going to pop up on the big screen TV, or, well, it should. It did a second ago. It updated the app, and, oh, there we go. There you go. It is playing on the TV from your Kindle, and you can control it and everything. You can even go to your regular menu and pull down and whoops. Oh wait, it stops playing. Okay, never mind. You can't do that. 
but you can play YouTube videos on your TV and control them from your Kindle Fire. Okay, what you can also do is you can send Netflix from your device. So I don't know if the official Netflix app from the Kindle store works. So again, you might want to download that from the uh, One Mobile Market. And then you would just select up here at the top, the little logo up there, and press upstairs right there. And then you will just play what you want to watch upstairs. It will open it up saying playing. And YouTube is stop, ignore that. We'll ignore that. Okay, loading on the upstairs TV. As you can see, it's loading. And this is with the Netflix app. And there we go. It works. You can see the remote is on here. It says you can pause with the middle button. You got the volume. You got fast forwarding. You got stop the past 10 seconds. Everything you normally have on the Netflix app. And then you can also go to the home screen of your Kindle and you can do other things and ignore the battery thing and you can pull down the notification bar and it will show you the con controls you can pause and stop from the notification bar which is awesome so not only can you do that but you can also watch videos from your Google Play Store on here without rooting a way to do that is to download the app like I said and then get that going okay to play Google videos you're gonna go over to the Google video app that you downloaded from the one mobile market which is in the description if you didn't do that and so then at the top you're just gonna press the Chromecast button and then select the upstairs obviously because unless you have more than one you know so you can either go to my movies or my TV shows to do this you cannot buy or rent movies or TV shows on your actual Kindle because you have to be rooted and have the official market on there. So you have to rent the movies or buy them from your computer or other Android device. And if you had another Android device, I don't know why you'd be using your Kindle to do this, but that's the way to get around that. Okay, and we will now test out uh, last app to use this on would be the Google Play Music. I've had some iffy time with this. Like I said, I doubt they meant the Kindle to be one of the supported Chromecast devices but we're gonna try and see if this will work it hasn't worked for me as much as it should in the past okay so at the top you're gonna press the Chromecast button like you have on every other app click upstairs okay there you go it's on the TV loading up so it syncs perfectly just sending the signal over seems to be a little weird sometimes see look at that it just dropped off so it didn't work uh, sadly so alright then <laughs> it didn't work so, this is an awesome, awesome thing to do. You can now do Chromecast, Chromecast from your Kindle Fire. Uh, it may not work with every single app, and it may be glitchy when it does work, but it does work. So if you only have a computer and you want to use your tablet and don't own anything but the Kindle Fire, then you are in luck because for most reasons, without rooting, it will work. So hopefully you like Subscribe and comment to this video. Please check out my other Chromecast videos and my new Nexus 7 video and, well, every video on my channel because all of them are amazing. Well, that's a lie. Some of them stink, but hey, hopefully you'll like all of them. So, hope you have a good day. Enjoy the video, and if you have any questions, please comment.